Hi, I'm Heimbach. Good to have you back. In this video, I want to try something I've been meaning to do for a long time. Create a tape collage. That means I'm going to record different instruments and splice them together manually on this Telefunken M15 magnetophone. I've had this for five years, but I've never made use of the editing capabilities that this has. It's got a scissor right at the reed head and it's got an editing block right over here, which makes it perfect for splicing tape. Before we start, there are two things I have to do. First, clean the heads. Therefore, I'm using this Tesla Nol, which is basically isopropanol of 99.5% purity. I think I bought this just from Amazon. Usually you can get it like in an apothecary here in Europe. Yeah. And what I have here is just a regular Q-tip. So now, clean the head. It's already quite a bit of dirt on there. This one. Yep. Yep. And here. It's looking good. Let's see how the pinch roller is. Let's see how the capstan is. Yep. Good. So, after the heads are cleaned, I need to demagnetize them. Therefore, I'm using what is called an entmagnetisier drossel, which is this thing. So, this is an electromagnet basically. You move it slowly past the head a few times. Next head. I didn't learn this by the way, I'm just following the instructions that are written directly on the thing. And this here. So and then it's important to move away and then pull it out. What you don't want to do is put this anywhere near your tapes because it will erase them. So, now that we've got the machine cleaned and demagnetized, I want to record the piece. I'm going to keep it simple because this is the first time I'm actually splicing more than a simple loop. So I've got three elements I want to record. I've got a drone that comes from the UNO60 and SHU2 right behind me. And I've got a piano melody that I want to record and I want to add in a Rhodes. And then I want to see how through cutting, pitching down and all that stuff, I can make this into a nice loop. For the whole composition, I was thinking to give it a natural cohesiveness, I'm going to record the drone under every track. So even when I play the piano, the drone will be there. So once I splice, there will be not much of a noticeable difference. I'm trying just to create something really calm and soft with this. So these are all the parts recorded. I wonder if that symbol hit will make it into the final composition. Now let me say again that I'm doing this for the first time. So I might mess up, but it's part of the fun of learning new stuff. If there's old hands among you who've done this their whole life, I'm happy for any advice you can give in the comments. So let's start. Oh, 
merch available on Bandcamp. That's the part we want. So I'm gonna rewind exactly to that. Ah, that's the first note. Bam! I wanna get that. So I have to rewind just a little. Ah, come on. When you start. Somewhere around here. And let's make the first cut. Done. So, here we've got the part. So now I have the beginning of the collage. I'm going to rewind that and put an empty bobby on here, which is these things. And then I'm going to edit further. So here's the new bobby. Or Aschenbecher. Ashtray, as some engineers call them. And now I can rewind. As you can hear. Can hear. Playing it back. First I should find the ending of the part that I wanted to loop. So let's play that. Fast forward. Cut that part. Just that. Good. Just that. I want just that part. Sounds like a doorbell, but a nice one. So, this is the first part of the loop. Take this. And that should be the part that we wanted from the beginning. Okay. So now let's get the piano part. Here's the tape. And as you can see, I used a little bit, not. Ah, it's spooling up. So quickly up here. Because what you don't want is to have all the tape rolling on the floor. It happens. It happens to you once, hopefully, only once, because it's a mess when you spool it all down and you have to spool it up again. Now let me tell you, it's not a lot of fun. Okay, really, it's from the beginning, it's something that I like. So let's cut it here. Okay, one This is a pretty long loop. Whoo! Okay, I don't want to have this too long. like this and then see what happens. 
Okay, so now we have these four loops and I'm going to splice them together with this tape. I'm splicing it together so that one is backwards, which will probably be nice, but I have to adjust the cutting point. Good. So, now let's try to be precise, because the more precise I'm here, the less of a noticeable bump there will be. I mean, the bumps can be nice for the whole thing, because we're not used to them anymore, so they feel unique. Let's try splicing this one in. I think it's great that I'm able to do this for fun, but I don't think I would have wanted to do this for non-fun, for work. It's a lot of work. Oh, need a longer tape. <laughs> My expensive tape. So. Oh, bah, bah, bah. Ah, stop, stop, stop the machines! Stop! Okay, that was the dumbest thing ever. The tape got caught in the in the capstan and pulled it all in. So now I've lost like a half of the spool and the capstan is covered in tape. These are the things, when you're trying out stuff for the first time, they will happen. <sighs> Good, splice this one. Now to get this, <laughs> this mess, this is a mess. <sighs> Learn from my fail. Well, if this doesn't sound good, I'll at least learn something. This is perfect, just having it hang there. Doing stuff like this on cassette, even making your own loops, I find that to be rather difficult because it's tiny. Everything is tiny and here at least you've got some size, some heft to the whole thing. So with cassette tape, you don't have that. There's just the tiny tape, which is hidden inside the cassette, which is absolutely not my idea of fun. So, so hey, here we go. My first tape collage. Now I have to find a way to put it all up on this machine. So now I'm gonna try and spin this through the room. Good things to run these things through are door handles. Let's see if I can reach the door handle. Oh wow. Okay. Let's see if it works. <laughs>
guess that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You can find this track and many more on my Patreon. Thanks to everybody who supports me there, it makes experiments such as this possible. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.